Give me a second. I, I need to get my I need to get my story straight. My friends are in the bathroom and they're getting higher than the Empire State. Hey! My name is not Sven. It is Martin. Yeah. Let's talk about random news, shall we? Last night was the quarterfinal of the Women's World Hockey Championship game between Sweden and Finland, and Finland won 2 1. Congratulations, but after the game, they failed to play the national anthem of Finland. They played a little bit, and then poof, it died, and the Finnish ladies continued singing a cappella. Beautiful. The other day, the local reported that uh, free Samaritans in Germany, I think it was Mannheim, had realized that a lot of girls, nerds, uh, were very stressed out from studies of being in libraries. So they offered, free of charge, their sexual favors so that they would help the girls uh, become, you know, and get good grades. Imagine if you turn it around and there were free girls offering their sexual services. What would we think about that? Yeah. Finnish nutcase Helena Eronen, who is a politician, wrote on her blog yesterday that all foreigners should be marked so that the police can say, aha, that is a poor person from Somalia, aha, that is a beggar from Romania, and the Russians should have a hammer, and the Americans should have a burger. A strike here in Sweden is imminent, and that will affect me in the way that my local willies will be closed. I want my willie to be open. Tonight is the second final out of seven between Huleftio and Blinas in the Swedish Hockey League, and Blinas is leading by 1-0. You don't care, do you? The Swedish National Road and Transport Institute has declared the fact that using cell phones without hands-free is totally okay because one, it doesn't seem like it's increasing the risk of crashes and two, people will not adhere to the law anyway. So we join a, a set of great nations that has not agreed to ban this. Those are like Malta, Serbia, Moldova and stuff like that. And lastly, I want to talk about the most democratic Twitter account in the world, at Sweden, which is under the umbrella of uh, Curators of Sweden, which is a part of the Swedish Institute, and Visit Sweden. So every week, starting Sunday night, Monday morning, that account goes over to a new person for a week, a Swede, who will give his or her view on the world in English, and it changes every week, and they can say pretty much whatever they want. So, uh, at Sweden is pretty cool. Right now, it's being held by a guy named Mikke. Mike, who actually lives in New York. So uh, go check that out. Thank you for watching this video and bye! So if find the time, the bar is closing and you feel like falling down, I'll carry you home tonight.